What is up guys, Savage Fishing TV here, and today I will be showing you three different ways that I like to rig my swim baits for spotted bay bass fishing, calico bass fishing, and sand bass fishing in San Diego. So I will be showing you these three ways with three different style swim baits. So um, I'll show you how to text for the swim bait, or get through a jig head, and or get through a swim jig. So here we go. So for the Texas rig, I chose this swim bait just because it's long and these only Texas looks sad. So the way you Texas rig a swim bait is you want to make it so the hook starts going at the bottom. And so you want to rig it in just a little bit past the barb. Then you want to push it through out like that. And then you want to pull the hook all the way through the body of the swim bait. Till the eyelet is inside the swim bait like so. And you'll pull it through. Okay, so look, the eyelet is gone. And then you'll pull this, you'll pull um, the hook down, and you'll put it through the bottom section of the swim bait. And so you're gonna want it hiding like this. And you're gonna want your hook pointing to the top, ba just barely, so when the fish comes and bites, it gets exposed, like, like so. And this way is best for when you're fishing in eelgrass, because um, other techniques, unless you have a weedless jig head or a weedless swim jig, will get all caught up. And this is the most effective, effective weedless uh, method I have, I know. So here we go. Yeah, so now I'll show you how to rig it with a jig head. So here's my jig head. I have this little Kai textile bait. And so what you want to do is you want to first align up um, your swim bait just so you see like an estimate where you should hook it through. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your swim bait through the top, pull it all the way down until the section where you saw you should rig it like this, and then you're gonna wanna pull it through like so, and then push your swim bait all the way up on to the jig head. So you have the little metal piece that wants to hold the jig head, the swim bait in, so it's holding it so it won't get tugged off by fish. So here we go. And so I like to use just a plain swim bait, jig head like this when I'm fishing just at docks, on a pier. Um, I think it's just the most simple method to use. Um, it's the most effective way to get bites. Um, and it's just perfect for dropping down on pilings and so. So here we go. Now the final way I'm gonna show you, I'm just get this one's torn up, is how to rig it on a swim jig. So the main times I use a swim jig is when I'm going after really big legal spotties and mostly use this in the summertime when they're really active. So with the swim jig, it's a lot harder because look how big the hook is. So you're gonna wanna really pay attention to how you're rigging it. You're gonna wanna do the same thing like the jig head. Oops. And estimate where you're gonna put it and pull it all the way through, like so. You so wanna pull it out and push it all the way up, like so. So here we go, like this. So now I've showed you these three ways to rig swim baits for spotted bay bass. So use these me methods and tips to catch some more fish. Hope you enjoy.